Hello everyone, it's Kristen with another chance resale. Welcome to my channel. I am a full-time reseller and in this video we're going to go through some jewelry that I got from actually won the auctions from shopgoodwill.com. These are two separate auctions that I won. I actually went a little crazy last week. Was it last week or the week before? This was 4-4, four, four, yeah. Um, and I won like six lots or something like that. So um, this is two of them. And total shipped, I spent, um, hold on, I had it written down, $140 um, on everything that you're about to see. So if you are interested in anything, you can email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. And um, I accept PayPal. Payment is due upon receipt of the invoice. And um, I will keep a list in the comments of everything that is sold as it's selling. So you can feel free to check that out as well. So let's get on into it. And I will be repeating the information throughout the video in case, um, you know, you missed it. So right now we're going to be going through this box. So it came with a box. It is broken. It's just a cardboard box um, with a like aerial view of Rome. So let's see what it is inside. Okay, so this all got moved around. This is all going to be mostly vintage. So let's move this over. And I don't have enough room. All right, well, we'll try to try to keep it like that at least. So let's see what we got. And I will be pulling things for my monthly jewelry subscription box that I send out once a month. Um, you can check that out in the description box. I will put the link. It's five, uh, six pieces of hand-picked jewelry, no junk, um, sent to you monthly for $30. So, um, you know, you can keep it, resell it, both. And this is Trifari. How are we with focusing? Um, <clears throat> this is actually really pretty. It's like a leaf motif. It definitely would be a choker style, um, sit right at the base of the neck. It's definitely small. I would put it around my neck to see, but I don't... It's kind of dirty let me just yeah it like it like just fits around my neck but this is very pretty it's in actually very good condition so let's do 12 on this one okay we have a little scrimshaw ring I don't really think that this is like actually carved into it it looks like it may just be like a print. I'm not really sure, but it is adjustable. Little band. Let's see. Oh, okay, so it's not sterling. So let's do um, five on this one. Okay, we have a bracelet, a nice um, leaf motif again okay this is Sarah Coventry right there and this is in good condition so we can do six on that one <clears throat> what are you okay this just looks like a chain there's maybe it maybe it had those little links for eyeglasses but you know I don't know what happened so this will probably just go into crafting anything that goes into my craft lots are a dollar if you want to pull it out <clears throat> okay this looks like a necklace I don't see any markings, but it is silver tone, and it hooks, you know, you clasp it with this hook here into the links, 
you know, um, it's in, it's in good condition. It just needs like a little wipe down probably. So we can do eight on this. That would sit definitely at the base of the neck, like a little collar necklace. Okay, this definitely has some wear. The back is definitely showing wear. The front is like okay, except for this little doo-doo spot. It looks like it may be able to come off, but I'm not really sure. Let's just do five on that. Well, there wasn't that much in here. I kind of paid kind of paid a lot for this one. <laughs> This is cool, I like this bracelet. It's got like a dual tone, like it looks like it's like these pieces on the edge, on the edge are gold tone and the middle is silver tone. All this says on the back is, does that say Trifari? I think it does. Where's my loop? I think that does say Trafari. So this must be an oldie. It's definitely got some wear on the back, but I think that's pretty cool. It feels really nice and like slinky. So let's do, let's do 10 on this one. This is definitely like really vintage. Definitely got some age on that one. What is this? So this looks like it's missing something. So that'll just go into craft. Oh, come on, I'm just dropping everything out of my craft bag. Okay. We have this cute little bracelet with the faux pearls. This is Sarah Coventry. That's really pretty. I like that one. It's in excellent condition. No peeling pearls. We can do eight on that. All right, let's keep on keeping on. All right, this this has a hair in it, but you know we'll we'll look past that. This is actually cool. It's like articulated, or is it broken? <laughs> nope, it's. I think it's a little bit bent but it, so it moves and it's a bracelet. Let's see if it's a cute little fold over clasp. The glue is starting to yellow on the back, but that happens with time. I don't see any makers, but this is cute. It just needs to be cleaned because it's really dirty, but I like this one a lot. Um, I'll do eight on this as well. Okay, here's a little faux pearl bracelet. Um, I just do four on it. It's in good shape. Oh, we have another, like, scrimshaw type of... Oh, what's going on? There, I see the fire truck on the block ahead of us over there. Um, this is, this is definitely just a print on there, but it's still pretty cool with the tassel, silver tone, do five on that. I'm going to save that piece for last because that looks cool. So we have a little bracelet here and it is Monet. So fun fact, um, Monet actually patented this style of clasp so only they will have it on their jewelry pretty cool right very nice gold tone um simple bracelet we'll do five. Oh, this is nice hold on let me figure it out oh that's the safety clasp the safety chain. Okay, so how does this go? Uh, 
Okay, I think I got it. So here we have a like a brass tone. It's missing the beads that were in here and there's one in here. Honestly, I would just, actually it's missing all the beads. What the heck? I see one in the bottom. That probably went in this one. No, oh, that stinks, because this is really cool. So none of the beads are in it, which I guess it doesn't matter if you want to still wear it. There's just that one. You could probably just pop that out, and you can wear it without the stones. Because look at how pretty that is. The fold-over clasp with the safety chain. Oh, that's a bummer. Wait, does it say something? No. So, I mean, I'll just do two bucks. This is really cool. If anyone wants to, you know, rehab it or something. Okay, so the last piece is this Ginormo bracelet. It is very cool. It definitely has a lot of wear. It's definitely been through a lot in its little life. <laughs> Let's see if there's any markings. I don't see any, but that's really cool, especially anyone that collects, like has a jewelry collection, this would be really nice in it. Um, let's do 10 on this one. This one's definitely been around the block a few times, but it's still, it still can tell you the story. <laughs> okay. So that was everything in this box. So I'm going to put it back and just put it on the side so I have some space. Ooh. Okay. Next, we have this bag of goodies. So remember, if you are interested in anything, you can email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. I accept PayPal and Venmo if you have Venmo. Um, shipping is $5 under one pound. I require payment immediately. Um, I do ship internationally as long as you're willing to pay the shipping. And I will be updating the list of sold items down in the comments. Oh, I actually have a couple pieces still left over from other videos. There's this sterling silver tree of life necklace. The pendant is sterling silver. Marked there. This is just a little cabochons. And this, the clasp is sterling silver. This is $12. And I also have this bar brooch. It is very old. It has the C clasp. See that? And a really cool hinge. This one is 15 Really cool for the brooch collector. And we have this little Henry Bendel clip with the marcasites. Marked Henry Bendel. I think I had this at 10. We can do 8. And then I have this sterling silver geode pendant. It's marked inside the bale. And it just has a little crack up at the top there. And um, I think I had this at 12, we can do 10. Okay, that was my little, uh, forgot to tell you about stuff that hasn't sold that I, I keep some stuff that I, you know, think can sell, but then stuff that doesn't sell from my videos, um, I usually give it about a day or two and then I make mystery lots out of them and sell them on eBay. Um, maybe I'll pick through and list a couple things out of it but honestly, uh, I don't really list jewelry online anymore. Uh, here and there, yes, when I have better pieces. But um, I usually make mystery lots with the leftover jewelry. And they sell almost immediately in my eBay store. Okay, so here is the first piece. This is really cool. This is a like off-white beaded with some iridescence and a little dangly and this 
This is definitely not vintage with that lobster clasp, but that's okay. Um, it's the, got the vintage vibes. <clears throat> so let's do six on that one. You can even remove this if you don't like it and just have the two spacers or even remove one of the spacers. But that's pretty cute, $6. This looks nice. See, and I totally forgot to pull things for the, the subscription again. Ay, too many things to remember to, to say in the video. <laughs> but I do want to thank all my new subscribers. I haven't had a chance to say that recently, so thank you all for subscribing. Thank you everyone who has been subscribed. Thank you everyone who clicks the thumbs up. That really helps my channel in the algorithm of YouTube. And um, click like right now if you haven't done that already. <laughs> So I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. I love each and every one of you. Honestly, some of you are like, you guys are like better than like my real life friends. Like, let's just say that. <laughs> so the love and support I get from you is like amazing. Okay, so let's keep going. This is a made to look vintage double strand um, green plastic beaded necklace. It's very pretty. It's in good shape. There's a little bit of wear on this part here, but that's okay. And we'll do six on that as well. So this one is vintage. We have the cute little hook. Sometimes the hooks say things like this one. It says, I cannot read that. Let me find my loop. Okay, it says Hong Kong, so this dates it to about the 80s, and oh, there are a couple beads to adjust, oops, if I was in frame, and the beads do have a little bit of wear, but I think that's okay, and this would look great with a dress, or even like a white tank jeans and a heel in heels so let's do six on this all right let's get you untangled all right this is avon so this is definitely vintage. That spring clasp there will date it pre-80s. So um, actually, you know, by now the lobster clasp is probably considered vintage, but you know. Okay, so this is gold tone. It does have a little bit of wear on the links. We have like textured faux pearls and um, gold tone beads. This is very long. It comes a little bit past the bust. So we can do five on this one. Real quick, guys, I want to interrupt to share with you two YouTubers that I would like you guys to follow. I will put their links in the description box. But the first one, and I took screenshots of their channel This is the first one. She does jewelry unboxings, and she actually had her first jewelry sale right here. So make sure you guys go check her out. Show her some love. Subscribe to her channel. I'm subscribed. She has 150 subscribers, so let's get that number up. And we are going to check out this jewelry sale, see if you like anything, and show some support her name is Christine, so I will be watching that video after I upload this video to YouTube, so I'll see if I like anything to purchase from her. I love supporting other um, small businesses and YouTubers and resellers, so. And then the other one we're going to check out together, hopefully. Her name is Adrian, and I'll show you this. This is her ad for her online auction tonight. Um, <clears throat> Thursday, April 15th, uh, 5 p.m. her time. So that's Pacific time over on the West Coast. So for me, it is 8 p.m. And she is going to be selling um, jewelry 
gold, sterling, semi-precious, vintage, and contemporary. And if I remember correctly, Dawn from Hudson Vintage will also be joining this auction. So don't you miss it. It's on her YouTube channel, a la mode by Adrian. So I will put the link to her channel in the description box as well. Um, just go over there and show some love, subscribe, and I'll see you in the auction tonight. Okay, next piece. I love these types of clasps. I think they're really cool. It looks like, what is this, a safety chain? I don't really know, but it is a little green. No markings, right? No. Very cool. Um, Ooh, the pearls, I don't know if I'd be able to get that off. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, let me okay, see. Okay, I got it off. So we have a nice double, uh, actually, well, yeah, double strand faux pearl necklace, but it does have a little bit of green um, in between here. So we'll do eight on this. Beautifully vintage. All right, let's look. Okay, so this guy came loose first. We have a barrel clasp and these like marbleized green and black beads. They are just plastic with the green, I mean the gold spacers. Very pretty, we'll do six on that. So here we have a, it's like a silver metallic dark gray faux pearl beaded necklace. We'll do five on that. Ooh, this is pretty. I don't, oh wait, I do see a mark. It's on the back of here. And it says Regency Jewels. I've never heard of that. Let's look her up. Regency Jewels. Um, let's put beaded necklace. Wow, guys, look at that. So, this is a winner. Let's see what they are selling Selling for, though, not just listed. Oh, that's sale items. Sold items. Oh, none were sold. Hmm. So, that could possibly just mean that they're a little bit more rare. And these people have it priced too high because nobody's buying it. Um, okay, so if I were to list this, I would probably list it around like maybe 25. And it's in good condition. I love the, the crystals at the top. So let's do 10 on it. How's that? Okay. La 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 la. Let's look at what this is. All right. Checking for a maker quickly first. I don't see one. So this is a multi strand micro faux pearl necklace with a dropped faux pearl here. And it's got gold tone. It's got a little bit of wear but that's to be expected with vintage items <clears throat> so let's do eight on this one i think that's really pretty you can even probably take this off if you don't like that i 
This is very pretty. You do not have a Mika. Fish hook clasp. You just pull it out this way and then pull it back in this way and push it in. <laughs> Love those ones. So this is in really, really good condition. It's um, just a beaded like swirl necklace, twisted necklace. We can do six on that one. Aye, come on, okay. So here's a gold metallic beaded necklace. This clasp is really cool. Let me just see. It may be sterling. Let's give it a quick test. Look at that. She's sterling. Look at that bright blue. Okay. So, this is a very beautiful, it's definitely choker style, um, like length I mean. It probably just hits you right in between the, um, like right at the neck, the bottom of the throat. So, it's sterling silver base, I mean, geez, I can't talk. Sterling silver clasp, just needs like a nice wipe down. So, let's do 10 on that. Next, all right, this one's definitely really dirty too. Like, where were you? Did you, did they pull you out of the mud or something? Okay. So I don't know how this clasp, this spring clasp got hooked on here, but I'll take that off. Um, so we got plastic beads. Actually, these might be glass. They are cold. Yep, yeah, probably. So these are actually glass with that really pretty toggle clasp. Hmm. Let's check you out too. Let's see. Well, would you look at that? Two for two. Sterling silver. <laughs> so let me get another little thing to wipe this. Okay, so that's a pretty hefty sterling silver toggle. So let's do 12 on this one. Very cool. All right. This one is awesome, except it's missing a ton of stones. That is really sad. So, yeah, I mean, this one's in really bad shape. I'm, I'm actually kind of upset they put this in here, but... Um, so this will go into crafting. The, per the full pearls are still good. It's just the uh, hardware... Not so much. All right, we got this pretty. Looks like a gold ruffle with a really nice flat chain. The clasp is pretty cool. Uh, no markings. There is some wear on, on this, but honestly, it kind of looks cool like that. So let's do eight on that. All right, this got stuck to that necklace, so let's see what this is. This, this is definitely interesting. So here we go. The chain, however, looks as if it was extended. Okay, so there's this silver chain, you see it? The, like the thin one in the middle, I believe somebody used it to extend it because honestly, at that length right there, uh, you know, I don't know who that's fitting. So I'll leave on the extender 
the you know they hand they made that I think this chain needs a nice cleaning but other than that I think we're cool I think this is so cool he's got like a chain on him And he, I don't know, some kind of dragon demon thing he's fighting. That is cool. It's definitely, definitely needs a cleaning. But he, this is really awesome. So let's do 12 on this guy. Very super cool. <clears throat> I think that's what made me bid on the, the lot, honestly. Okay, so this one is a faux pearl. A double strand. Beautiful brilliance in the in the white coloring. The luster is amazing. This is very pretty. Very regal, very classy. So let's do eight on that one. This next one is missing a pearl. Mm -hmm. Great. Right in there. So this will go into crafting. Oh wow, this one actually has all the stones. That's a shocker. <laughs> um, it looks like it was two strands at one point and is no longer such. Which, I mean, I guess that's fine. It's very full verdigris. Um, hmm. Let's check this one out too. I want the clasp, not the, not the flowers. Eek, that didn't really work out too good. Guess we can do the flower then. No, it's not even scratching. It's probably not. Probably not silver. It is not. It is not. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, so this one I don't know what I'm gonna do with because it's definitely got some verdigris issues. You guys can see that. Um e it is peeling a little bit. Yeah, I'm just gonna craft it. it. That is so cool. Maybe somebody can repurpose it, but like this part is really doo-doo, so uh, yeah, that's going into craft. Crafting, crafting, one, two, three. <laughs> the things that come out of my mouth. Okay, so this is a long, it is flapper length, I guess. It goes definitely past the crotch. So it can be doubled, probably even tripled. Um, really good condition. Nice, substantial weight. We'll do six. So I know they're not all that popular. Ooh, I love the colors of this one. This, this wow. I'm, I really like this one. Ooh, and it's West Germany. Hold on. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That came out of nowhere. <clears throat> okay, West Germany. So these can usually fetch a little bit more money. They are definitely old. I actually want to see something. I want to see, because I have that list of you know, countries and the year that they were made based on the country, you know, that is printed on the item. Yes. Okay. So here it is. And I have shown this before, but if you missed it and, or would like to screenshot, there you go. So right here, Western Germany. So this was made between 1950 and 1954. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool if I don't say so myself. Now let's see if eBay says anything. Western 
Germany, vintage beaded necklace. Okay, well that was uneventful. That one kind of looks like mine, but the beads are different, but that's at a bid. All right, so, you know, maybe, uh, well, here's some that are like 20s, 30s, 40s, dollars, 35. That one kind of looks like mine. All right, so it can be all over the place, but I really like this one, and it's in really nice condition. It's four strand, um, all plastic. Let's do 12 on it. I love these light blue ones. It's like a crackle. So pretty. Okay. Moving right along. I know I'm forgetting to pick out jewelry for my uh, jewelry subscription. This is really pretty, and I'm really pissed because look at the wear on these beads. Where was the other one? Right here. Look at that. Eek. This is so pretty, though. But it's all jacked up. I mean, I guess you can wear it like this because that's probably the back that's all jacked up. Because it's on your, your skin and stuff, your shirt. So, all right. I'll still sell this, but I'll do... I'll do like $4. How about that? It's still really pretty. Even if it just goes in your jewelry collection to be admired, that's really nice. Look at this pink little uh, bubblegum beaded necklace. <laughs> it's not vintage, but that's okay. It's giving the vibes. So let's do four on that. All right, we got a little bit of a tangle. So we pulled this one out. This one's definitely vintage. What is this? Oh, it's metal. So this is metal. Um, It's got a little bit of wear on one side, which is probably the back. This would be a cool choker style, uh, collar style necklace. It does say something. Where's my loop? It says Napier. So it says Napier right on that link, which is kind of weird. So let's do eight on that one. Okay, this is cool. Where's the clasp? Here we go. I do not see any makers. So we got gold tone, silver tone, and black cabochons. It does have some wear to it, but it's not bad. I really like this one. Let's do $6. $6. All right, this little lady is definitely peeling it says I think that says excuse me I think that says Marvella yep it's Marvella but the 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 pearls are peeling so that's gonna be a no that's craft Ooh. I don't see a Mika. It, it does have a little bit of wear on this. Like a little scratchy poo right there. But I think, you know, I think it still can be worn. So let's do, we'll just do five on it for the little boo-boo. All right, what's going on here? What is all this? Is this one necklace? Oh, I think it is. 
I think it is. Let's look for a maker first. I don't see one. Okay, so this one has definite verdigris on it. But look at it. Ain't she a beaut with some poop? <laughs> Where is that? Paper towel. I think it can come off. I just can't get it right now. All right, so look at all the green. Um, but it's a really cool necklace. I don't know if anyone would be interested in this. This kind of like goes around the pearls. It's very pretty. Uh, I don't know. I'll just do five on it in case, you know, someone wants to clean the verdigris off can do that. Where am I going to put this? Let me put it right over here. Remember, check the comments for the list of sold items. I will try to describe it as best as possible um, or put like the timestamp. But that's also what you guys can do for me is put in your emails to me the timestamp and or screenshot so I know what you are talking about. And um, email me if you are interested in anything at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. This is really pretty. Um, we, can do, we can do five on that. She's cute. Uh, da -da -da. So this is like... This almost reminds me of phone wire, like a phone cord. Cause it's like a little, it's like a little swirl, little, I don't know if you guys can see that. Pretty cool. Do five on that. Sorry, I was looking out my window, being nosy. So this is like a little shell necklace. Um, it is vintage, but it's very tiny. Um, you can just do four on it. Ooh la la. This one's pretty too. This may also have had another strand. It's marked Japan, so that's definitely old. Um, hmm. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know if this can be cleaned. It's like bumpy and everything. I'm, mm, I'm gonna put this in craft. I don't really feel comfortable selling that to somebody to wear. This one's cool. So this one definitely had an extender <laughs> an extender made. Maybe it was from the same person. They made like this chain that goes through and makes it longer. So this one's very dirty. Um, I don't know. The, the AB coating is coming off. We're going to say no. We are going to say no. Um, what's this? Spring clasp. Multi-layer. This is actually cool. It's got two strands of white chain. Just trying to get it untangled. Here we go. And they're all the same length. It's got these little yellow stations. This is cool. There's definitely a little bit of wear to the yellow, I mean to the white, but this is very cool. So let's do eight on that. All right, let's see what else we got. This looks nice. Western Germany again. 
Um, I don't think this is going to be amber because it feels plastic. Um, let me just see. Yeah, I think, I think they're just plastic. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. But these are, well, probably like acrylic or lucite. That one, it looks like it's going to come off. I just have to squeeze that a little tighter. Well, let me do it now. Sorry, guys. There we go. Done. This is really cool. It does look like amber. So let's do 12 on this one. I like that. Oh, hmm. this one says Trifari, but eek, that's the back. I don't know if I'd be able to get that off. I, um, I'll try to clean it. And if it comes off, I will put a price on the screen. Um, here's another little necklace. I don't know, $5. This is cool. I like that clasp. This says... Um, metal. <laughs> okay. So this one's really pretty. I actually think I'm going to take this for my mystery jewelry uh, subscription. And I wonder if this is Jet. So how you can tell it's Jet. Jet, jet is a very old petrified wood that they make into beads. And the way you can tell is if you have, plus it's worth a lot of money. Um, if you have a white stone, if the bead scratches black, nope, then it's jet, but this is not. So this I'll be um, using for my mystery jewelry subscription. Again, you can check out the link in the description. Guys, we still have so much more to go. Wait until, you sh until I show you the next bag. Ooh, this is cool. Uh, it's not really the greatest thing that was in the box, though. This is actually quite disgusting. Can you guys see all the peeling and cracks and stuff? So that's going to go into craft. Eek. But the box is cool. Um, you know, I would do like five bucks on the box if anybody wants that. Uh, where am I going to put it? 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 Okay, so let's keep going because now look at what we got. Look at all this stuff. This was in the bag with all the stuff that I just went through. So let's see what's in it. We have a very pretty bracelet. You pop it open here. Well, that's cool. I don't see any markings. This, I don't know if this would be gold. Does that say something? I think it used to say something. It definitely used to say something. I see like a J something R, I don't know. My nose is starting to run from all this dirty jewelry. So I just start out with the 10 karat gold acid first because if the acid eats the line, it's no point in moving to the, to do another line for 10 karat, I mean 14 karat. You guys, it's holding. Get out of town. Usually you wait like, you know, 10, 20 seconds. You don't need to wait all day. But you definitely want to wait long enough for the acid to do its job. 
So now we use the 14K. I would freak out if it holds. <laughs> it looks like it's holding. Can you guys see it? You guys. Do we try 18K? Okay, it's not 18 karat, so I'm guessing this is 14 karat gold. Really? Do you guys think so? I need your help. It definitely looks like it could be gold. I'm, I'm not good at detecting if things are real gold or not, but for some reason I'm getting a feeling that this is. It's not solid. It is hollow in the middle. But it's still holding, so I would say this is 14 karat gold. Holy moly. Okay. So I need to look more into that. But that is absolutely amazing. I mean, that, that could be a lot of money right there. Let's weigh it. Let's do some, let's do some uh, research here. So... Holy, okay. Brandy, I see you, girl. You're texting me. Give me a second, girl. Uh, all right. So what I do for Goodwill, Goodwill, oh my God, because I, I have it up on my screen. That's not, <laughs> what I do for gold, I use the gold calculator, goldcalc.com. So what we would do is we would enter the weight. So it's 39.08 grams and we think it's 18 karat gold i mean 14 karat gold wow i'm all over the place today so it's giving me that for a scrap value <gasps> i'm like freaking out so this is definitely something i need to take to my jeweler because it's not marked so i definitely need to have them, um, you know, verify. I thought I saw another marking, but I, I did not. Wow. Sorry, guys. I'm still, I, I thought I saw something written on the little tab there to push open. But look, that's scrap value. So if I was to get this appraised, that it's real gold, and if I sell it online, I can probably get at least 1500 That is absolutely insane. Okay, holy moly. I guess I'm going to the jeweler this weekend to get it checked out. Oh look, so we have a, <laughs> let's, let's move on. So we have a um, bracelet that matches the necklace that we just went over. So I will do four on the bracelet, and if you buy both, I'll cut you a deal. We'll take like two or three bucks off. All right, this, oh, oh look, here's the little bracelet to that necklace. So we'll do, um, I think I said four on the, on the necklace. So we'll do two on this. And if you buy it together, we'll do five. This is really pretty. Look at this pink, look at that clasp. I'm a sucker for vintage clasps. I think they're so pretty. Uh, not marked, but this is actually in very good condition. All of the stones are there. So let's do eight on that. That is really, really pretty, especially for the springtime. Love that. I'm gonna try to put everything in the bag that's over here. So let's see how many times I go over there. <laughs> So this is cute. This is a ceramic butterfly cuff bracelet. Ow, that kind of hurt. That is really cute. Let's do six on that. Yep, I already did that. Oh my God, are these all brooches? Yay, I love brooches. Eehee, okay. I love gold more. 
All right, this one's pretty cool. This is a brooch. Let me just get this back in. The pin back in. The pin back in. Okay, why doesn't it stay in? It's a little short, I think, because it's bent right here. So I'm just going to leave that there. Um, yeah, this is broken anyway, so that's going to be a no. This says Japan, so it is definitely older. It's in really good condition. Look at that. How are we on focus? So let's do five. We have an enamel, metal enamel flower. I actually just sold a pink one like this on my eBay. There's a little scratch there, so we'll just do $3. We have this gold tone leaf brooch. It is unmarked. I'm gonna do $2. Wow, look at that one. That is really pretty. I think all the stones are there. No marking. We can do five on that. Uh, this is not in good condition. So that's craft. Wow, look at that one. So pretty. This is a Lisner. Wow, okay, we're gonna look this one up too. So, cause Lisner can do pretty well. Lisner Brown Dome Brooch. No, of course not. Okay, but here's some other domed brooches that are, you know, looking around the 30, 40 mark. Okay, all right. Well, if anybody wants this, it is bent a little bit right here. Um, we'll do 12. How's that? Uh, this is Sarah Coventry. Was there supposed to be a... No, I don't think so. A pearl on everyone? No. So I'm going to keep this for my jewelry subscriptions. That's pretty. What is that flower? Iris maybe? I don't know. Uh, we can do four on that. All my brooch collectors. This looks like a hair clip, but it's still pretty. We can do two on it. That's pretty, it's a pendant and a brooch. Do four. Oh, boo, that's chipped. Yeah, that's chipped off, so that'll have to go into craft. Ooh, that's pretty. That's different, I like that. Um, four dollars. I'm just looking. $4. We have another little flower. It's got a little bit of wear. I'm just do three. Ooh wee. That's a dress clip and it says, or a shoe clip, and it says patent pending. I wonder, ow, I wonder if there's another one. But that is really pretty and there are no missing stones. So let's just hang on to that for now, and maybe there's another one. Here's a little doggy with green eyes. Uh, oh, I was going to say it's Jerry's. It's Avon. I'm going to do five on him. Here's a little enamel fan brooch. I'm going to do four. And this little rose, we can do three. All right, so now the last part, these look like mostly earrings. So let's see. Wow, those are cool. I think they're ceramic. So let's do five on those. Those are really, really pretty. 
Okay, well, I see the other one right here. So we have metal, painted metal green earrings. We can do four on those. Those are pretty retro. Um, where's the other one to this? I don't see it, so I'll put it aside. Try to find some quick matches here. Here we go, we have these two. These are pretty, I love the colors. Check for marks. I don't see one, so let's do five on these. Those are really cool. Um, okay. There's, I mean, <laughs> where are all the match? Okay, we have these two, red rhinestone, red bead actually, just do $2. This is missing a pearl, that stinks. Those are all local, these are Sarah Coventry. It looks like those would be um, little quartz or something, but those will have to go into craft. Here's another pair. These are, oh, it just says made in USA. Yep, made in USA. They're pretty though, and if someone purchases them, I will get backs. We'll do four. We have, ooh, these are nice. Look at them. Wow, some really nice screw backs. These definitely remind me of Juliana, but I don't think they are, but they are so pretty. Um, let's do eight on these. Those seem very special. We have these, these are Marvella, so that will definitely help in your listing if you want to purchase these for resale. We'll do six. We'll probably get at least 18 for those. <clears throat> And all my prices are subscriber discounted prices. I always forget to say that too. Anything that I do list on eBay from these lots, like uh, like in my videos, I do list for like probably double. So I give you guys first dibs and good pricing. These are cool. We'll do four on these. Um, we have these black metal clip-ons. We'll just do two. All right, so I don't see another. Okay, so let's keep pulling. Here we go. Big blue. They feel like plastic. Let's do. Uh, we'll do three on them. Oh look, here's another. Oh. Hmm, let me get out that one Sarah Cub that had the pearl in the middle. There we go. Now we have a match. So let's do, this one's a little bent. Uh, let's do four. Okay, I don't see, let's move these all over. Oh look, I bet you that's an earring to match the bracelet and necklace set. Here's a match. These are clips as well. We'll do three. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Here's these pretties. If anyone purchases, I will get backs. Those are four. These say Japan, so these are definitely vintage. But we're missing a pearl there, so we're gonna have to go into crafting for that. Okay, we have these little lever backs. Uh, they have the clear stone and the faux pearl. We'll just do four. Almost done, guys, almost done. Here's these, these are super cool, I love these. Green, like a lucite with the gold. We'll do five, those are awesome. Those will be fun for this time of year, spring, summer. 
These have a little bit of wear. We can just do two. Um, okay, I think, did I see? Nope, that's this one. Right here we got these ones. This is gold tone with like a greenish swirl enamel. You can do four. Here's these, these are not vintage. They, well, they might be. They say NR, which is an Avon brand. So um, I'm gonna just do three. Here are these ones. Wow, these are pretty. Uh, so I, let's see, are they Margasite? Yeah. I don't see any missing. I also don't see a maker. Let's do six on these. These are really, really pretty. Oh, I guess that sold list is gonna be really long. I didn't realize there were so many pieces in this lot. <laughs> so these are really cool. I love these actually. Uh, we'll do four on them, they're clippies. Clippy, 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 clippies. These are nice. I don't know about them being too vintage, but it didn't say everything was going to be vintage, so they're still nice. Uh, we can do four. <clears throat> mm. These ones, the faux pearl is, the faux pearls are definitely scratched, so we're going to have to skip those. Okay, so here's the other one to this. So this is definitely a set. I'll do four on these. But if somebody wants the set of the earrings, the bracelet, and the necklace, you know, I'll do the deal. I'll do the deal. I'll do you a deal. These are really cool, too. Oh, these are Vendome. Nice. So Vendome's a pretty, pretty nice vintage brand. I actually just sold a triple, or maybe a four strand beaded necklace and earring set for $30 on eBay. And I think that that was low, but these are Vendome. They are clip-ons. So let's do, and eh, we'll do eight for you guys. Those are definitely cool. Very, very cool. All right, here's more, these little guys. We'll just do two. These guys, we'll do two as well. Um, okay, these, you guys are probably like, the matches are right there. I know, but I can't hear you. <laughs> these are cool. Um, yeah, we'll do four. Those are definitely a little bit cooler than the others. Here are Avon. I think these just need to be cleaned up. I'm actually gonna take these for my mystery um, subscription, jewelry subscription, taking those. Okay, let's see. We're getting down to the wire, guys. We're almost done. Here's these uh, clip-on orange. We'll do three. These are cool. These, I believe, it looks like somebody made these because you can buy blanks, this backing right here, and create your own, like you can add stuff to the fronts like, like this. So we can do four on those. If anyone wants to add some earrings to their jewelry collection, this is definitely the video for you. These are lever backs. These are really cool. These are giving me like India bali vibes do four on those oh thank you for hooking these two together okay all right we're gonna just leave them there so they're clip-ons but they have these little like dangles that i think are really cool We'll do four on those. Here's the other one to this. I was hoping we had this one because these look awesome. We 
These are very vintage. Oops, as I drop it. How are we looking on? Uh... Yeah, so we'll do six on these. These are really cool. Ha, la, 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 la. Okay. Got these clippies. They almost match the bracelet from the other lot. So these will do five. These are definitely cool. We have these flowers. They are not marked. Do four. Oh wow. Some dichro oh, some dichroic glass studs. Those are really cool. We'll do four. La la la. Okay, so we're almost done. I'm getting um, very hungry. It's almost lunchtime. All right, so we have these ones. If anyone purchases, I'll definitely get backs. Do they match? Yeah, we'll do four. Wow, 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 wow. Here's these little clippies. So clips with some baguettes and rhinestones. We'll do five on those. All right, I don't see the other clip to this, so we're gonna do eight on this because this is really nice and a nice piece for somebody's collection. Nice vintage piece. Okay, so these say Zental. I have never heard of that. Have you guys heard of Zental? We about to look it up. Zental clip on earrings okay no, I mean not horrible that's pretty sweet for vintage clip on earrings so um, you can probably get between 8 and 15 on these um, they are dirty and just need to be cleaned up but we can do let's just do four These are actually for pierced ears. Those are cool. They have a little bit of scratching. We can just do two on those. That's because they're in this bag with all these other earrings. These are wood. Two dollars. Oh, we don't, oh, here it is. I was like, oh, we don't have a match to this. These are like little caterpillar bug earrings, like the shape of them. <clears throat> we can do three. Ooh, these are pretty. <coughs> Excuse me. I like these a lot. They're giving me like very regal vibes. These are Avon. You know what? I'm going to keep these for my jewelry subscription as well. We've got these metal clip-ons. We'll do two on those. Got these ones, these red little huggies. We'll do two on those. And if you guys want to buy like a lot of these earrings, if you guys want to do a bundle deal, I'll give you a deal. Like if you want to buy a bunch of these earrings, um, I'll like give you one for free or two for free or something like that. So bundle and save $3. Wow. Look at these. Cool. So cool. Oh, wait, where are they marked? They are. Leslie Block? I've never heard of her either. Wait, what happened here? What? What? Ha oh, I think... <laughs> like, what's happening? Oh, look, I just fixed it. Oh, I don't know what happened with that, but okay. Oh, not, not Snapchat. So, uh, Leslie Block earrings yes I had a feeling that they would be expensive and here they are right here look at that guys and you would never think they don't even look like anything they're I mean they're pretty but they're very lightweight and you just wouldn't really think it yay so let's see if there are any sold Gah. $118 whoa Okay, so yeah, they're selling between like 
40 and wow look at those 200 bid so these might be something I put on bid I'm gonna I'm gonna keep these ones and I'm, I'll list them yeah 65 they're right here so like something like this this is a good tip if you're looking if you don't know what to put on bid versus you know uh, actual listing um, if you're looking up something like these and you look in the solds and you're seeing a lot are bids like two bids four bids six bids that means these are those are all auctions two bids one bid 16 bids eight bids 14 bids 10 bids nine so this might be something you want to put on bid versus just a actual listing and what I would do is I would you start them low but high enough that you're gonna make a profit so I would list these I'm probably going to list these for probably $19.99 and then let, let people bid on them and see what they get to. So I'll keep you guys posted on these, but those are for me. Okay, I do do what sold videos. It's They're on my Patreon account. The link will be down below. Oh, that's a good one. I don't think so. I could have answered and we could have had some fun with them. <laughs> These are Sarah Coventry. We'll do four. Like, hello, you're actually live on YouTube right now. What would you like to say to the fans? <laughs> That'd be funny. Okay, so these are um, screwbacks and clip-ons. They're just plastic. We'll do three. And here's the other one, the Sarah Cove that we can put into craft because the other one was missing the pearl and now these ones are missing the stones. <laughs> okay, that's everything guys. I hope you enjoyed going through this vintage stuff was really fun. I really enjoyed it, especially when we tested this and it came up 14 karat gold. So I will also keep you guys updated on what happens with this with my jeweler. And thank you so much for watching. Make sure you click that thumbs up button. Make sure you're subscribed and check out the description box for information. Check out the comments for the pinned list of sold items before you email me. Thank you all for watching. I really enjoy each and every one of you and your comments and all your support. And we'll see you in the next one.